Okay, today I'm going to do a quick vid showing you another method of making a cup of coffee with the AeroPress coffee maker. There's nothing wrong with the basic method. It makes a great cup of coffee. In fact, this is my favorite way of making coffee, whether I'm at headquarters or in my forward operating position or whatever theater of operations you're in, this is the way to go by far. Um, this is just another way of doing it and it will give you a much fuller body in your coffee, almost a, a, a syrupy level and uh, much closer to espresso. It's often uh, referred to as the inverted AeroPress method or the atomic explosion method. I like to refer to it as a force multiplier. Okay, word of warning too, if you're, if you're a beginner coffee drinker or if you're a crap coffee drinker or you're a kid, just shut this video off right now. Please leave the room. Give you a minute here. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this without supervision, at least, or an expert in the room. Uh, this could cause just, you know, an overload of your senses. And if you're used to drinking corn syrup, uh, Red Bull, or Mountain Dew products, then this is definitely not for you. I'd just rather you leave right now. Okay. Let's move on with this. Take your filter. Place it in the screen. I like to... Uh, rinse my filter and charge my cup so I'll do that at the same time take some hot water here you know another mistake that uh, a lot of people make is your water's too hot you want it to be about 190 degrees definitely not above 200 coffee is a food once it's roasted and you can burn it and if it's boiling when you put the coffee when you put the water on your coffee you're going to burn your coffee it's going to be bitter and it's going to destroy some of the nuances of the flavor of the coffee. Remember that little tip there for you. Okay, we've got the filter rinsed and it's absorbing some of the heat. The cup is charging with the heat. Then I'm going to invert the press. Just put it in just enough, maybe a half inch. Take my coffee and you know a lot of people when I first put that uh, video up about the Aero Press, they're confusing the Aero Press with a French press. It is it is not a French press uh, in, in any way. Uh, this works under pressure with a micro filter, number one, so you're building pressure up to run it past the grounds. You don't want your grounds coarsely ground. You don't want them quite on espresso, probably a little bit above uh, <coughs> espresso ground. You can experiment. You'll find out uh, where your sweet spot is on your grinder. I like to put two scoops Okay, level that out. Still inverted. Take your hot water. Fill it about halfway. And then stir. Stir for about 10 seconds. This is an, this is an advantage of the uh, force multiplier method. You get to stir really uh, really bring out those flavors in that coffee. Stirring for about 10 seconds and then fill to the top. Look at that crema. Oh man, that's awesome. Take your rinse filter, put this back on. Empty your charged coffee cup. And you'll actually hear and see the coffee float back to the top. But you've created a vacuum in there. So now you'll, uh, you've allowed yourself basically more time um, to brew that coffee inside the, the aeropress. press. You know, when you, when you do it the other way, you've probably got 20 seconds. If you've used the press. Uh, that's what they recommend, about 20 se seconds of, uh, of uh, brew time. Well, this way you can brew a little longer. You can brew it maybe twice as long, 40 to 50 seconds. Really bring out a full body in that coffee. That's been about 40 seconds, 50 seconds. And had I done it the original way, all the water would have basically went through a drip method into the bottom of the cup. But it is still at its original level. I don't want to go too long or I'll bring out some of the bitter oils. So I'm going to uh, press the coffee out. I'm 
Some people don't recommend pressing it out all the way. I press it out all the way. I want that flavor in the end. I've got my little puck ready to be popped out in the garbage. Okay. That is a much better extraction, a much stronger extraction. Definitely brings out a fuller body in the coffee that you're brewing. You've got a longer uh, brew time, um, just pulling out all the flavors. Now I could stop there for ultra concentrate, but I'm going to add a little water so I can enjoy this coffee even longer. And then I'm even going to even it out. This is Guatemala. I love the uh, sweetness of Guatemala, but I'm going to add a little cream just to just to make it more creamy, caramel. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. Cream actually, you know, it's it's coffee is a lot like chocolate. You can make it so many different ways. Uh, milk or dairy products go well with chocolate as well with uh, coffee. It depends on what your tastes are and even, you know, if it's a dessert coffee or if you're having it after dinner or if you're just having it in the morning. Mmm. Anyway, that's the uh, force tactical multiplier uh, method of making coffee with the AeroPress. Give it a shot, you know. Even, even you know, try it with a comparison, making it the basic way and then making it this way. You'll be, you'll think you're drink, drinking a different coffee, you know, depending upon your offering uh, that you're using. It, it's just that big of a difference. A much heavier full body uh, with the uh, force multiplier method. Mm. All right, enjoy. See you later.